What's going on in here? Who is that? What you gonna say? Hmm? You gonna speak to mama? Speak to mama. <laughs> huh? Good morning. Yeah. Sally's new laying position on grandma's legs. <laughs> so here's what the double rainbow looks like with one person sleeping in it. So we got the external pad, 25 inch wide. We got our, both our packs. We got Sally's, part of Sally's stuff down there. Sally slept over there beside grandma and her, her bag is back there. So plenty of room for one and a half. Looks so like you got the storage thing above and very too deepy. I mean, you can see the, the vestibule area is kind of small, so I wouldn't, if you're solo hiking, I wouldn't store your pack on the outside. Hot in a rainstorm. Yeah, because I mean, you can see it rained pretty hard last night and it got like the mud and stuff splashed up. But I mean, it's a really good tent. I really, that's probably my favorite tent that I own. Sorry, X-Men. But, um, yeah, it's just, it's a really great tent. Of course, I slept in my hammock last night. And, you can see I got a little bit of a dry area under there. My shoes stay dry, at least. So, there's my home for one. I got my trekking pole leaned up over there so it would stay dry. And this is my typical setup. The Dream Hammock Sparrow. With my hammock gear incubator. Zero degree quilt. 30 degree top quilt. A little storage basket. And a down pillow. So, slept pretty good. Um, fixing the lay back down because there's more rain coming. So... I was just, my feet are tired after yesterday, and even mom was talking about her feet was tired, so. But, man, this is a great campsite right here on this ridge. Had a breeze all night, because even with as much as it rained, my tarp is, like, pretty much dry right now. But there's more rain, like I said, there's more rain coming, but. It's, it's a really nice campsite. Like I say, like, so the trail comes up right there. So, I mean, you're literally right off the trail and goes that way behind the, the behind the tent. And then there's more camping up that way. So, anyway. Go back in the hammock and relax for a little bit. Time to get packed up. Huh. So, as you can see, I've got everything torn down. Under here and mixed up. Okay, mixed up liquid IV. That's the acai berry. It's really good. Um, I want to sit here and eat a super good cookie. This is a cherry almond. But grateful for the sun this morning to be able to just pack up and not be in rain. I'm glad the rain, most of the rain was last night, but it poured down. Anyway. We're almost ready to hit the trail. Sally, we ready to hit the trail, baby? Are we ready to hit the trail? She's like, you ain't packed up. Funny how she knows. But anyway, eat breakfast. Look who decided to join me for breakfast. You want some breakfast? She's taking it to go. It's so funny to see her walk around with that in her mouth. But she gulps it down. So mom's got, mom's discovered the magic of Cliff Bar. So yesterday she had white chocolate chip. Now she's got chocolate brownie. She liked the white chocolate yesterday. Zally's looking at her like, oh, give me some. No, you can't have it, it's chocolate. Oh, well. See, the sun's out. Hopefully it stays out for the rest of the day. About six and a half miles to the next camp.
So I'm packed up. So you come from the north, heading south, you go down this way. So really nice campsite other than just no leaf cover. Yeah, that's where we came up from last night. That's <laughs> what? Way up for getting ready to go down. <laughs> no, I don't want to climb back up that mess. Anyway, we're on the trail. Yeah. Huh. By the way, here's an up. <laughs> but anyway, so we got about six and a half miles, I think, to the river today. It's about 10 o'clock, so hopefully we'll be at camp by about three, three or four. But we'll see. Just going to take it easy. Just enjoy the sights. It really is a nice campsite there, isn't it? Yeah. I really like that campsite. I think I would I would camp there in the winter time just to have the winter time views, you know. But surprisingly, even after that 14 mile day yesterday, I feel pretty good. Um, legs feel pretty good. I'm thankful today is a shorter day. That's an, well, that's an old forestry road or something. Yeah. So it looks like people are camping here. Oh yeah, and then pour down. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> nice little climb. Another climb, so I'm gonna do some pink lemonade energy chews. And these have like a lot of new items as well. Broke one. So this is, it looks like it's across the trail. So I don't see a way around it. it. Looks like people are walking over that way. But this is 0.85 from when we stayed last night. Yeah, this looks like a camp. This is a campsite. I mean, it's just past this big tree. But really, I mean, it's small. I'm glad we didn't push on to here in hopes that, you know, like this would have been a better one. You know what I mean? It's already down, but... Well, I know, but I mean, like, look. I mean, there's just... I mean, I would have had a place to hang, but... Like, it's kind of limited as far as... It's kind of slanty and you know, it looks like people are kind of, you know, I don't know. Anyway, so. That would scare the. That'd scare, that'd scare you to death. Uh, yeah, you've been going. Let's get it. Let's yeah. get out of here. <laughs> Let's go. But anyway, so this is about 0.85 from where we stayed last night. I mean, it don't look like it's used often because the fire pit is not burned out, but. It's probably, it was probably nice before that tree. <laughs> I think people probably see that tree and like, nope, we ain't staying here. But you probably could set up a small tent here so you're not in the dirt and probably over there. But 
or just maybe in the middle of the trail. Mm -hmm. But definitely hammock friendly. Yeah. <laughs> Don't grab onto the slug. <laughs> I was like, I'm just going to go through the bushes. <laughs> It looks like you might could camp there if he's desperate. So it's about one and a half. Yeah, I know. It's, it, this this section has been really nice. Let's hope it stays this way. Five miles a day. Now, well, the trail used to go that way. I was oh, too focused on where the trail was going. feeling hungry so I'm finished my energy gels now I'm doing this Peruvian peanut butter bar Jeez. so pretty in here yeah. So I guess if he's desperate, you could set up here. I don't see anything called so anything. this is Pool Creek Road. I'm gonna tell you. So the trail comes down right there. And we go up. somebody has built this or what I mean, it looks built but it's like a little was a lean-to some of the logs have kind of failed but I wish you could see more. Yeah. It's definitely a lot clearer than it was the other day. Well, these two intertwined, intertwined trees. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so my dad texted us. So heavy rain we got last night. Apparently it's still raining at my parents' house. And dad texted and was like, we got two inches of rain. Kind of glad it's up there, not not here. But it's just a gorgeous day, perfect perfect temperatures, 
sun's not out to make it humid which is very nice I definitely like this Georgia section of the Bartram it's just been really nice campsites are nicer I think and the trail's been in really good shape so I really can't complain gotta love Georgia Either it fell had the marker on it. And it's not been like real sunny, you know. Wanna do again? I wouldn't want to do it again. Take it easy, but this is going to ride again. I don't know. It is. Speed gap. So, looks like there, yeah, there's a lot of little fire ring out there. Yeah, it goes up that way. So, this must be an old forestry road or logging. So, it's like an old, like, logging landing. But I mean, you definitely camp here. It's snack break time. Mom's feeding Sally some jerky. I found that poop and that was good. First jerky is that one. Teriyaki, you want some? Mm -mm. I know mm -hmm. you don't like teriyaki. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of teriyaki. All right. Enjoyed a nice little short break. Now we're going on hold up the trail. So I don't think I mentioned that that little speed gap back there where that campsite was, it's about 3.6 from where we stayed last night. Cause you, you, you would slide down there and you before you meet up the trail. What's in that tree? What's in there? Did it all clear? Slippery. Yeah. Noticed it. Yeah. Yeah. Several of them are slippery, and it got, it's on a slope too. So it looked slippery, and I was wondering if it would be. And sure enough, at least that was a handrail. <laughs> So like, that's one thing, that's one thing I'll note is this section of trail is really dry. Um, since that uh, place we got water at yesterday before the campsite, there's been no other water sources, none. Not even like at the road crossing, um, Pool Creek or whatever, there was like a puddle in the road and Sally got water, loaded up on water there, but I mean, other than that, there's been no water in this section, so that's something to kind of keep in mind. You know, you might want to carry carry an extra bottle or so to make sure you have plenty of water. No. Anyway.
Looks like, oh, there might be something exciting around the corner. Thank you to the trail maintainer who came through and cleared this. And then you look above you, you got this one leaning real hard. Out of web. That goes that way. Yeah. So we're 10 miles from the car at this point. How much? 10. Okay, so I think this is where the Chattooga River splits. So this is where I got off the Bartram the last time. Yep, so the Chattooga River Trail goes that way. But we're going to go that way to go to the car. Oh, I hear the river. I hear the river. Getting, getting close. See, I think that's right there's where I crossed it last time. Because I came up that hill right there. I wonder if the bridge is still washed out. I guess we'll go down here and find out. But we'll go down here. See, because there's a campsite over there. That's not where we're staying, though. But maybe they've rebuilt the bridge. Yep, the bridge is still out. See, and that's a pretty good size drop, so we'll definitely go back up and cross at that other section. Well, that's interesting. Why is that crossed? Is people using that as a bridge? So it looks like maybe there's an alternate alternative crossing over there, but that looks worse than just walking through the creek. So we will come up here and cross the creek and get our feet good and wet. So that was a nice little stream crossing. It went too bad. I think I'd rather take the chunks on that. Yeah, I'm, that not, I'm not crossing at all. You can get that. But see, last time I crossed over there and went up that bank. Because oh I don't think people had worn a path over there yet. Okay. So that's just where I had to go. But anyway, I mean, it wasn't deep. It was like ankle deep. So but this is a nice campsite. I remember seeing this, but there was a lot of dead trees. Yeah, yep, still a lot of dead trees. It does have a nice fire pit. 
Yeah, but it's just all those dead trees. That just stresses me out. 5.9 from where we camped at this morning. So right there's where the trail used to cross. Okay, so we'll take this side trail and go down to the waterfall. This way. That goes, that just keeps going up the Bartram. So we are officially on, back on the Dix Creek Falls Trail. What's up? I wouldn't pick that route. Just go through the stream. Is this side? Sally's over here in the woods. Some a couple we ran into said there was a campsite with a beach at the end of this trail. But I'm not seeing a beach. But I mean this is definitely well worn, so apparently there's something at the end of this. Am I just wasting energy? I don't know. different plant oh wow this is a nice site no room for a hammock though nice campering wow So this is a nice campsite. I may come here this summer with Sally. I'd have to be in a tent, but being able to have this beach, it's nice. You can go swimming. You can go swimming. So this is 6.24 from where we camped this morning or last night. And uh, it's down that Dix Creek Falls Trail. At the very end, I mean, it's dead end right here. So, because I didn't know that this trail was even here, I didn't know it went back here when I was here last year doing the Chattooga River Trail. So, definitely gonna keep this in mind because this is this is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, Sally. Just gorgeous. Let's go find Grandma.
We're at 6.49 when we just came back up from Dick's Creek. Now we're going to continue on the Bartram until we find a campsite. So just know that any mileage I reference from here on will include the side trip to Dick's Creek. You want it next to the river. Yeah. But this is actually a pretty nice site. I mean, there's a few dead looking trees, but you got a fire pit. It's got plenty of firewood. I'm gonna say this ain't far from Dick's Creek. And uh, you got a little stream over there, I think, that you can get water out of. It might be okay for hammocking. Maybe over there. I don't know. Some of these trees are just really dead. So it just depends on your comfort level. But there's the water source. I mean, it's flowing. Anyway, we'll keep on on the trail. So, I'm having this hazelnut coffee maca bar. I'm still going to have it for no one. No, that's, you said that one was really good. Yeah. Sweet Nature and Valley, salty. sweet and salty. I might share a lot of bar with Sally. So I will note, once you get in this little valley, there's not a lot of wind and it's kind of, it's more buggy than the rest of the trail has been. So that might be something to consider if you think about camping back there. Wow, still enjoying it. So I'm gonna give Sally some Laura Bar, cashew cookie. Laura Bar? Sally had the Laura Bar, now she's gotta give her something to drink. that way. I was just gonna walk over here and see if this was a campsite. This is at 6.97 into our day. It almost just looks like an old road. But I mean you could set up camp here probably if you needed to. Out there in the trail. Almost back by the river. Burn. I know, right? <laughs> Isn't it ginormous? It's humongous. So, depending on what it looks like down there, that may be our camp for the night. We'll check it out first. Well, I think my GPS screwed up again. So, I missed that. So I'm assuming this is probably about seven and a quarter or so. Yeah. So looks like there's some more camping. Hopefully. So it looks like there's some over there. There's this side here. Big fire pit. So it ends here. So we'll go back here and see if we can figure out whether this is suitable for hammocks or not. What do you think? So 
This is home sweet home for the night. It's not, it's not supposed to be windy, I don't think, tonight. We'll at least take our packs off and rest for a little bit. Sally's doing her celebratory pack is off. Let's roll in the dirt. Move. Well, do you feel better now? Do you feel better? Nope, I gotta do some more. Seems like it's flowing pretty good today. Must be all the rain we had the past couple of days. All right, so we were gathering firewood and got a nice fire thing built. And then we were, then we started looking around at the actual area of the campsite and realized just how dead this looks. So rather than risk a tree falling on our heads, and really I could not find a place to to, to hang the hammock either where I wouldn't be hanging off a dead tree so we're gonna make the decision to just go ahead and head on up river to see a couple of the other campsites I know the one up near Earl's Ford is decent but that's like another mile mile and a half so um, I'm hoping the next one upstream will be pretty decent but I don't really reckon I mean this is gorgeous I mean it's absolutely just spectacular but it's just a lot of dead trees so camp here at your own risk. In the meantime, we gotta get our packs back on. All right, my campsite. You're pretty, but you are just a little bit too dangerous for my taste. Well, and you see all the trees laying down too. So I'm gonna go on out and think about maybe a quarter mile, half mile upstream, there's another camping area. So we'll go up there and check it out. So that is my biggest complaint about this trail in Bartram, um, is just the campsites. Like, you know, the ones we saw up on the ridge, they were fine. Like, you know, and the ones we saw like up north of War Woman and stuff. I mean, even at War Woman, like, there's going to be a lot of dead trees. So it's kind of, um, I don't know, I just feel like there's a lack of campsites. So maybe that's a good thing this trail isn't popular because you'd have to set up an area less than ideal. Because I mean, even here, I mean, you see, there's just a ton of dead trees. And I really, I should have noticed that when I was up there on the trail, but I was just a little too excited about, we're almost at camp. And just didn't, wasn't really paying super close attention. So, anyway, we'll just keep going. Hopefully, the next one is full of strong, tall trees that are alive. So, we'll just make the best of it. But there's um, in this section, once we got down, like, to the river, like, in this lower section and across Sandy Ford, there's a lot of poison ivy. So, just kind of be aware of that. So, you guys, like, I would, wouldn't mind that, but it's just dead trees. There's dead trees, dead trees, dead trees, dead tree, Dead trees. So, we'll just keep going. I mean, it looks nice, but... I don't want to be killed by a dead tree, a falling tree. You know? I want to live to backpack another day. I'm sure mom wants to live to backpack to another day. And I'm sure Sally girl does, even though she's not really happy right now, but she'll get over it. Anyway. Yeah, she did, she did get her sillies out there a minute ago. She was running around camp jumping over logs and all that having the time and then mama said time to put your pack on she's now less than enthused of course so so are we 
Anyway, I mean, it's just a gorgeous trail, but just really a lack of campsites. It's just not, not, not ideal. Huh? But isn't that a, isn't it a pretty, isn't it a pretty river though? See, I think the other campsite is right over there. But see, I mean, there's dead trees over there too. It don't look near as bad as over there, but we'll just see. Well, we got the daylight to see, <laughs> which we should have used that first instead of roaming around trying to find firewood. Sure is a pretty river though. some of those ghost pipes those ghost pipes okay so here's that can here's this campsite let's see what it looks like I see a big leaning dead tree looks like it's leaning that way the campsite's to the right uh, Well, a nice little seating area. Yeah, we can, I, I don't feel too bad about this. Where's your spot? I don't know, I gotta figure that out. Right there, there's poison. So, I mean, there's poison all over the place here. I don't know. I mean, I like the campfire area and the bench, but like, it's just not like a really good like camp spot. Even getting down to the river don't look easy. I don't I really like this spot though. Oh. Check out the snail. Because since the sky's cleared out, I may not deploy my tarp. So I think I can hang off of this tree. Maybe from here to over there. I don't like too precarious. So this was, this campsite was about 0.44 from the other one that was around the corner. We were going to set up. That's probably going to try to smoke it out so the bugs won't bother us. But for dinner, I'm having Burnwall Foods kimchi rice bowl. That's their newest release, so I've got it just before this trip. Mom's got the packet gourmet Texas mesquite chicken salad, and she's gonna have some tort tortillas with it. And of course, I got my sour jellies for tonight. Anyway, decent campsite. The water access is kind of terrible. Um, I mean, it, like, look, it looks all pretty. You go down the hill, big step. You go down here again. And so, like, you step down, and I don't know, you probably can't see it from right here. But you see, you can now see where my footprint has been, but that's where I've been getting the water at. But, I mean, this is a gorgeous, I mean, I, I love the Chattooga. I just wish the campsites were better. I hope that ain't a rain cloud. I don't have my tarp set up. Anyway. I mean, you can see how Sally's having to kind of counterbalance. 
so anyway, so get back up here and make some dinner and just enjoy the rest of our night, last night on the trail. So, um, that's been fun. I hate that tonight's campsite, what what better, but I mean, it's good. At least, at least we are by the water, we're not over there in Bugville, so. Yeah, just there's just a lot of poison ivy around. Cause even like over there, like here on this tree, right there. So I mean, it's all over the place. Pretty much behind any log, especially over there. And around in the trees and stuff, it's pretty bad. But ready, let's eat. So how do you like the bar trip? Oh, I love the bar trip. Except for trying to find a place to camp. Yeah. <laughs> that's the big, that's our biggest issue is trying to find a place to camp. I mean, the trail itself is gorgeous. Now, like you get down here, there's been a ton of poison we've walked by in this lower section, so. We'll be glad we're hitting the car tomorrow. Yeah. It's been fun. We're ready to eat. Oh yeah, that looks a lot better. So that's the Texas mesquite. Does it oh. taste good? Oh, yeah. Even mm -hmm. though it's fiddly. Yeah. Mom says Mom says the chicken salads are fiddly. You know, because you got to lay it flat, and then it's like it's a multi-step process. It's not just put water in it, wait, and you're done. But it's delicious if you get it done right. Yep. It really is. Uh, oh, it it tastes so much better with that little bit of warmth. Oh really? Oh yeah. So I wish you could taste it. So mom, mom recommends using a little bit of warm water. That way, it seems like it hydrated better and it's a little bit more creamy. Maybe it helps melt the cheese because there is cheese in those. That's why I can't eat them. But it, they look good. Pack it. Make some dairy-free chicken salad. <laughs> That's delicious. That's delicious. I'm telling you. So here's the kimchi rice bowl. Oh, that looks good. It is delicious. Thumbs up. Their, their meals are always good, though. But they are vegan, so if you need meat, you'll have to add it. Which would be good with, like, some chicken added to it. Probably just need to add a little bit more water. But it is a little bit spicy. But I like spice, so I really like it. Sally's eight. She's curled up in a ball. I just want to sit here and watch the fire and hope it doesn't rain. Yeah, I'm in my tarp. We had to call it a night. We got an early morning to do. So we got seven and a half miles or so to do tomorrow. So, but we'll be at the car. Um, Great day, great day on trail. Just tired. The last two days have beat me up pretty bad. So, um, been a fun trip though. I always have fun, but just tired and being in the poison this afternoon just wasn't ideal. So, anyway, I'm glad to be. I'll be glad to be at the car tomorrow. Just say that. Called an early night. And we'll see y'all in a minute.